Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a stack of 25 pockets or flips or some kind of doodads for us to add to our advent journal. So this is part three and we are gonna install all of these pockets onto the journal pages in this video. So if you've missed part one and part two, please go back and check those out if you wanna see how I made the actual journal. And then if you want to see um, me making some of this pile of pockets. So we are going to um, get to actually play in the journal today. And I think I know approximately how, at least on the layout, how I want, then we'll decide how we're gonna install them. But if I put one, on this front cover, then I believe I can do um, one per, per double spread, and then on the in the middle of the signatures, put two, and I think we will have enough pages to get all the way to Christmas Day, which will be December 25th, the 25th pocket to go on this page or this page, okay? So that's the goal. Hope I counted right, hope I figured it out, and we're just gonna go for it. So all of these we have options every time we go to glue them down, if we're just gonna glue the whole thing down and then, um, you know, leave a pocket open, or if we want to install it so we could have a pocket here and a pocket here, or a tuck spot on the side, something like that. And in the next video, we're gonna be making, I'll probably pre-make some of them, but we're gonna be making a bunch of journaling cards and tags and things like that to, to put in the pockets and on the pages. So I don't really know yet, you know, what I wanna put in these. So it's kind of a guessing game. I like to leave my options open though. Even if I leave it open, doesn't mean I have to use it. So, this one is going to get installed with another option to top load something else in. So, we are going to add glue to the three sides. Again, super easy. And we're going to stick it down. And I kind of like how it nestles in here. You can still see the bow. And um, the contrast with all the colors. Love it. All right. So, that was Day, December 1, day 1. So I am going to be careful to make sure I don't accidentally skip a page because depending on, um, you know, we, we, we could end up not having enough room. So I can install this one on either, on either side. This one loads from left to right. I kind of like it over here because I don't want to cover her up. So I think I'm going to just put it right here on this side of the page. We'll be able to stick something in here and we could also write here and journal here if we want to. This one I'm just going to completely glue down. So these are the decisions I'll just have to make each as we as we go through the different pockets. Um, I hope that you're crafting along with me and you're ready to put your pockets in and you'll enjoy seeing how I choose to put mine down, and you'll be at this stage in your journal as well. All right, the third one, now this is where I'm gonna have to get creative. This is a pocket and a flip, and because of the way it opens, um, I'm gonna wanna install it on this side, and I'm gonna make it be a flip so that I don't, even though it's gonna be covering up the picture, it's gonna open up. Later, I'll add probably some journaling paper here, some neutral paper. So this one is actually gonna get installed on this side, which means I also need to think about number four. And number four is gonna, I think, work well because it is a top, a top load. I don't know that I want it Let's see, maybe it'll work where we can put four here. We'll have three there, and then on this side, it'll flip up this way and flip up this way. So when you open the page, it's sort of covering up the images, but we can always open them up to look at it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, because I didn't really plan this out to how the different 
styles of pockets were going to work <laughs> in my journal. So this one, I have a, a pocket right here. Because it's book page and it's a flip, I'm gonna just go ahead and glue the whole thing down. I wanna make sure it's nice and secure. I don't wanna have to worry about the paper um, coming loose or tearing. So we're just gonna glue that down like a flip. All right, let's just double check. Yep, it's doing what I want. And I have the numbers in the correct order. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna glue this section down and there is a little tuck spot here. I have to be careful with what I put in there because when, um, well no I won't because this one's not gonna flip. It's gonna be glued down. I was thinking when it flips, whatever is in that sweet little tuck spot might flip out, but I don't have to worry about that. So it will probably be, you know, something tiny, a little bit larger than these squares would fit in here um, and be really cute in this pocket, something like that, okay? So I'll give that some thought. Very sweet. All right, so that was, um, oops, I did it the wrong way, didn't I? Four was supposed to be on this side. Is it too late? Is it too late? Oh goodness, y'all, moving too fast. I think I got it though, and it didn't tear. So, what we're gonna have to do now is do a little damage control. I want it to be this way. All right, and I want this one glued down and it has a tuck. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna glue this one down. Stay with me. It would have been nice if I didn't have a side and a top two days in a row, but it's all right. Okay, that's gonna cover up that mess. And then this one, we will just add a lovely piece of paper to cover that up. I was thinking I could just glue it down to, but I really don't wanna cover up my page. Well, it's not too bad, actually. You know, you still, all we're missing is a little bit of that border. We still have the nice chandelier. Let's do it. Let's just glue this down. And that way, too, we only have the one flip and we know this one is nice and secure. And because they both have this little pocket on both sides, I don't have to worry then when it flips up about anything flying out, okay? Yeah, I like that. And it looks interesting too at the top of the page. Okay, focus, Pam. We're now on day five. Okay, what does day five look like? This is a pretty simple one. Just a angled corner pocket. I'm gonna glue this one all the way down as well. I um, am using pretty old book page. I try to choose book page that's still in pretty good shape, not deteriorating like a, a dictionary page that's super thin or fragile. If the paper's too, too fragile, I'll double it up or mount it on something, but I don't need another tuck spot right now, so I'm gonna just make sure that paper is nice and secure by gluing it down. Okay, let's see what day six looks like. This is one that I really like. Now, it was intended to be a wraparound, so we could do it this way, and again, where it just flips open and you can see the gentleman at the candy shop. It won't really work on this side. So that's what we're gonna do. This is um, where normally, I have the correct day now, and we're gonna glue, glue this down so that it gets to be a pocket. I'm gonna add glue along the bottom here and on these two sides. I will say that Normally when I make pockets for journals, and I think I said this in the last video, I would have had my journal open. I would have made day one and installed it, day two, day three, and then I would kind of get the different designs and patterns together. But I wanted to do this a little different 
and it's kind of challenge is challenging me to think outside of the box a little bit and I think I'm gonna really like the results I think I'm gonna like that it's um, a little different okay this is where I need to get day seven and day eight and luckily I think that's going to work <laughs> all right so day eight can easily go here day seven has a flip let's see what it's gonna look like yeah it's gonna work great so I am going to install it day seven on this page we're gonna glue it down we'll lose a little bit of that holly but that's okay get it nice and secure and I'm using my PVA line co brand wet white glue and um, it looks like this when you buy it. There's different sizes and options. And then I put it in the little bottles. Um, and you can find a bunch of the supplies that I use in my Amazon storefront if you are so interested. Um, and I will get a few pennies from Amazon, no cost to you if you end up making a purchase, but no pressure. Okay, we have a side load and a top load and it flips open. I love it. Haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna do anything with the strings. Okay, day eight, we are gonna install, it's gonna open like this, but I'm gonna also leave it where we have an additional place behind the envelope. Okay. All right. Day seven and day eight are in. And if I want to, I may even do a few of my Velcro dots for some of these, but I'm gonna decide that later. All right, day nine. And I did get these back in order. Okay, let me remind myself. This one has a tuck spot here, just a little one that slides there. So let's, let's put day nine up a little bit. And how about if we also leave it, oh, well, if we bring it down, we could tuck in this way and this way. I like it towards the top and we'll leave it open just in case. Like I said, we don't have to tuck anything back behind here, but this gives us the option if we want to later. Okay, so I might choose to put some little tiny things so I don't cover up this little collage um, that I decorated and then I can have something larger in this spot. All right, we're on December 10. And we have another cute little corner tuck. And I'm gonna just glue the whole, wait, yeah, that's all it is. Just a nice blank piece of paper, but I'm gonna glue it down. I'm gonna glue the whole thing down. I was um, on Facebook earlier and I found out one of my very best friends from high school. And we, we stayed in touch just like on Facebook. Like, you know, we say hi to each other on occasion. Um, but her daughter um, just got married this last weekend. It made me feel a little old, but I was really excited to see that. Um, I don't think they watch my videos, but if so, congratulations, uh, Mandy. Her daughter's name is Reese, so congratulations. Okay, that was exciting. I don't know what made me think of it. All right, day 10, day 11. And again, I've got two little options here. We have a tuck on the right and the left-hand side. So let's just put this one right in the middle and leave this for some journaling. Or we could put it up at the top. Did I just? Oh, it's been a few pages since we went to the top. Let's just glue it down. I'm gonna glue the whole thing down because this already has two, two little tuck spot options. I think this is gonna be so fun to play with and explore. And like I said, I think I'm going to give mine to my daughter and let her have this as something she can keep and then hopefully each year use. All right, this one is going to be fun, and I'm going to install it at the bottom of the page. We have some writing space here if we want, a tuck spot, and I'll leave it open so we even have another one in the back, and then this for writing space. So we're going to add glue to three sides. I said, once you start making these and kind of getting into the groove, you can get creative and just have a whole lot of fun with them. So sweet. All right, that was 12, December 12th. Now we're at December 13. And this one is where we have 
Um, all right, I wanted it to be installed this way. I even wrote myself a note, glue down. I'm okay with that. It's just covering up the building just a touch. I'm all right with that. So let's do it. And then on this side, we can write journal, journal. Sound good, everybody? All right, so page 13, I wanna get it centered and we're gonna just glue it down. And if I had not wanted to glue it down, I'm sure I could have figured something out <laughs> to install it in a different way. Cute, very sweet. And that gives the, um, the end page of the signature some interest too. All right, let's get to page 14. Now I'm gonna make sure. All right, if we do 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, do a double, 21, 22, 23, 24, Christmas Day 25. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I had counted correctly. I didn't want to get to the end and not have enough room for Christmas. And I do have the back cover, but I think we'll just make some kind of pocket or even maybe maybe I'll do like a, a notepad, um, something like that. Anyway, I'll give that some thought. All right, this was 13, correct? All right, so we're on 14. And this is just a simple little, little pocket. I'm gonna kind of put it to the corner and I'm gonna glue it down on this side and this side. And that's gonna leave us a nice large tuck spot if we want it for something on this page. We won't limit it just to the size of our little book page pocket there. And what I mean by that is now something quite large can fit in there. Page 15, similar shape, pretty tall back. We'll leave it. I was thinking I might fold it down or do something, but I'm just gonna glue this one. I'm gonna glue it on these three sides. Just on a whim, I decided to do this. And we'll leave the side open. So the way this one works is we have a spot here, and then if I want to, we can also tuck in from the left-hand side, just to make it a little different. Thumbs up for myself. Okay, I think this video is gonna be a little bit quicker than the others, so that's not a bad thing. We've had some pretty long ones here for this series. Page 16. We have another one of these where the tuck spot is loading left to right. So I'm gonna bring it to the center of the page. And I'm gonna glue it down. It's pretty tall already. I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down. All right, I'm really excited. I have not pre-made any of them yet, but I'm gonna start playing with all of the um, pieces, the ephemera pieces and the tags and things that came with the kit and start making some pretties. There's also some really nice journaling cards in the kit. And Joey tends to do this where it's like a little mini double page. And I've actually made journals just out of those little journaling cards. Super cute, because I like little things. We're on day 17. But um, I haven't played with it yet. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use quite a few of those so that there's lots of space through the years to write things down if that's how Sarah chooses to use it. Okay, this one can be a flip. I just have to decide which side I want to flip. And I think I want this side to flip again just so that we can see the pretty image later. I didn't even finish gluing this one together. Look, <laughs> we were moving fast in that video. So we need to just glue this one down. You guys probably noticed that in the last video, but I couldn't hear you saying, Pam, <laughs> glue the pocket together. All right, so I'm gonna put the flips flip here. 
we can put it really wherever, but I'm gonna put it here and we're gonna glue this panel down. It will be nice and secure. And we have tuck spot there. Here's two of the cute little cards. Isn't that ornament pretty? And it'll flip open this way. We'll have to cover that with something, but we're good. All right, day 17, let's move on to day 18. Another nice corner tuck spot. Each page I think is gonna look unique and pretty. The colors of the papers are just delightful. I may come through here with some of my liquid pearls. I'll have to do it when I can then really let it dry so the pages don't stick together. But I may add some accents to some of the images as I go because I think that'll make it really pretty. All right, I need to do day 19 and day 20. So let's see what we've got. 19, 20. Okay, this is the one where I did the journaling spot and then this one opens this way so this one's pretty easy let's do it like we did the other one where we just put the glue on three sides and it will open like a little envelope and we can also add something behind if we want to now this one how do I want to do this one I think I'm gonna leave it open on the side so we can have a side tuck if we choose and then open up and journal. So glue to the top, to the bottom, and then to this one side. All right. I don't know, I think I'm gonna center it just to be different. <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> All right, aren't these papers so fun together? Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, opens up, we're getting close. All right, day 21. What did I do for 21? This is one where we wrapped it around. So it is nice and sturdy. We have a tuck spot and a tuck spot. So let's put this one in the middle. How about down low and in the middle? I could leave the top open, but because I wrapped it around this way, I could see things getting stuck when I try to stick them in there on this layer. So let's just glue it down and avoid that frustration for our future selves. Okay, and then we can still write up there if we want to. All right, so again, little tuck spot, little tuck spot. Oh, they're so cute. I keep saying that, but I'm just really excited about this idea. Okay, this is the one where I showed you kind of that little fancy fold. It's a very common one in the junk journaling world. I did not come up with it, but I do enjoy it. I am going to install this one to one side or the other and leave it open for another tuck spot. So we're going to add glue to the side and the bottom. To be generous because I don't want it to go anywhere and now we have all kinds of things we can do we can tuck right here one two three four and then through the whole back five because I just added glue here and here fun so again lots of space if I wanted to put something larger just to kind of tuck in there. All right, day 23. All right, this is the bottom flip. Let's see what I've done to, to, to us. Because <laughs> I really don't want to mess up the image over here. Oh. All right, I really don't want to cover up my couple. So this is what we're gonna do for this one. We're gonna trim it and then glue it all the way down so that for day 23, we still have the flip down with the journaling space, but when I glue this down, I don't cover up as much of the image. And that's kind of what I was trying to say earlier is I'd figure out a workaround. The other one, it worked. The other flip, but this one, 
We'll just save that for something else. Let's add a little of ink on there. And I think this is gonna be just fine. I want it centered. And like I said, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use some Velcro dots on a few of these, but I probably will. See, so look, and now we could still get to enjoy the majority of this image. All right. I think we've done pretty well for not having paid attention to the design of our pages as I made these pockets. All right, Santa. We have a nice big spot here. We can leave it also open here at the top. This is Christmas Eve. Hmm. I am going to install it about right here. I don't know, not really centered. And I'm going to leave the top open so we'll have a side and a top tuck. The paper is sturdy enough but I just think it'll hold that better with the top being open instead of the side. That's only one layer and this is several layers. Okay. Santa, you made an appearance. You're also at the front of the journal here too. Okay, last one, day 25, and it loads this direction. So, isn't she sweet? I'm going to bring her in. She's near the cake and we're going to leave it open here. Hmm. Don't want to leave this open as well. Sure, why not? Again, to give myself the options, I don't know if I'll use it that way or not, but there'll always be that option if I glue it this way. All right to the edges very sweet now I went kind of fast with the gluing so I am going to go through and just flip these pages and make sure I didn't accidentally glue any of the pages together I'll decide what I want to do for the back cover before the next video let's just let's just look at them and make sure I didn't glue anything together there's day one Day two, day three is a flip, day four has two top pockets, a pocket here, day five, flip, <laughs> not fun, day six, does it do both ways? It does, and a little pocket here and a little pocket here. That's gonna be fun. Day six. Day seven is a flip with a pocket and a pocket. Day eight, with a pocket here. This is where I said I need to make sure I didn't glue anything together. Didn't tear, so we're in luck. All right, day eight. We have day nine. Here and here. No, here and here. <laughs> Two that load that direction. 10. Let's see, 11, this is fun, isn't it? 12, flips up, two pockets. 13 is a journaling spot. And I think I just glued the whole thing down, which is fine. A 14 and a nice large tuck spot. 15, I think I glued the whole thing down. Oh, I did the side. See, you gotta remind yourself. Day 15, day 16, I think day 16 I glued all the way down. Pockets right here. Flip, day 17, 18, <laughs> 19, this is so fun. 20, hidden journaling, pocket. 21, here, here, that's all I left open, right, yeah, and 22, there's five, I showed you that a few minutes ago, 
Uh, day 23 is the flip down. Nothing is stuck together. We're doing well. Day 24, Santa. And then Christmas Day. There we go. So much fun. All right. So the, this was video three. Video four will be us adding journaling cards, tags, other embellishments, and we'll try to finish it up in the next video. We'll try. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, all the things to help, um, to help my little business. I appreciate it. And until next time, have a great day. Thanks.